Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a hanging indent. A hanging indent is nothing more than an outdented paragraph. I'm going to, I've already got my text and I'm going to place my text within the margin. I'm going to come over here, hover over the left hand side, hold the shift key down so in case my I have more text than I do um, area to place it in, it's going to create new pages for me. I'm holding down the shift key, click, okay, now I have my text. And as you can see, it is not, okay, I'm basically, I have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. I can tell I have five paragraphs because of this paragraph marker or hard return. All paragraphs have a first line indent and left indent. Whether or not it only has one line or multiple lines, it always is going to be controlled by the first line left indent and the left indent. So let's go ahead and make these paragraphs hang. Um, as you can see, is basically what I'm doing is I'm constructing a numbered list. I'm coming over here. I'm going to hover over the, this little icon, and here's my left indent. And I'm going to put that at 0.25. Go down to the next, hit my return. My text, my text slides over to the right. Now I'm going to go down to the next text area and as you can see when it pops up it is my first line left indent. Now this in order for me to get it to hang over the rest of the paragraph I'm going to have to use its inverse number. So it's minus 0.25 now hit my return key. Okay we have a hanging indent at this point but what you see is it doesn't really look like a very neat numbered list. And I'm going to tidy it up by getting rid of that space and putting in a tab. And as you can see with this hidden character, okay, this is a tab hidden character right here. Okay, get rid of that space and hit a tab. Now, let's say that I want the question to be on one line and the answer to be on the second. What I can do, rather than putting in a new paragraph, what I can do is I can use a forced line break. And the way I do that is I'm holding down my shift key and I hit return. Now, what I, with a forced line break, all it does is break a, the line. It does not have any characteristics within the line break that a paragraph holds. It has no new first line. It has uh, no fonts or font size or letting size. All it does is break the line. Now, if I turn off my invisibles, okay, I'm going to, or my hidden characters, type, hide hidden characters, and there you go. I have a numbered list. If I wanted to, let's say I'm going to get rid of these questions, right? Let's get rid of these questions. And get rid of the numbers. What I could do is I could make myself an emphasis list or a bulleted list. Here I have information about the Sistine Chapel or art and I just want to make bullets. So again, let's turn on the invisibles, see what I have after I've erased all this stuff. I'm holding down my command key, my option key, hit the letter I. Okay, here you see I have a line break. I don't want that. What I want is a hard return a hard return here. Okay, now let's go ahead and put in a bullet. Option 8, tab. 
Option 8, Tab. Option 8, Tab. Now I've changed my numbered list to an emphasis list. And as you can see, it's the very, very same procedure. Thanks very much. Have a good day.